Well, hi. I <clears throat> had an interesting experience uh, this morning. I have Verizon internet. And, um, well, yesterday and today, my wife was telling me she was having trouble getting on the internet. And I came to my computer, and she has an old one. Uh, so I figured maybe she just had a problem, but I was having trouble getting on. So this morning, uh, we had the same kind of thing going on. I uh, was uh, said no internet access. I was had my network, but no internet access. So uh, it was on and off. It was on and off. So I called uh, a Verizon support, and I, it started with the the, the uh, computer talking to me. Well, I don't talk to computers, so I just hit zero till I got a service rep. It was a fellow, he had kind of an accent, but he was a nice guy, and I told him what was going on. And I began my, my phone call with him by saying, I think my modem's bad. I have a wireless router here. So I think it's going bad. It's like six, seven years old. It's probably shot. Well, he said, well, let's try some stuff. So he started taking me into the gateway and, you know, the... The, all that stuff and click here and change you know your uh, IP and your IV4 blah 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 all this other stuff um, and so I'm changing all this stuff and I completely I lost the internet completely before I was on like half and half I told him I said man I said it's off altogether now he said well we're gonna have to take you to a specialist he says uh, let me I just hold on till I hook you up with somebody so he, he hooks me up with this guy and this guy says, well, we're going to have to give you premium support, right? Well, I'm, I'm not the brightest bulb in the box, but I know the word premium usually means you have to pay for it. So uh, I said, uh, talk on, you know. And they hooked me up with somebody else. And this guy told me, well, it's uh, $14.99 a month, and you have to sign up for a 10-month service contract. And uh, if you quit early, it's going to cost you 60 bucks." And I said, 150 bucks. I says, your guy, you know, got my internet to stop working completely, and now you want me to pay. I said, well, all right, okay. You know, I just had to give in. You know, so, uh, okay, so I signed up for the 14.99 a month for 10 months. And um, he hooked me up with another guy. And I was, on, I was on with him for probably an hour and 20 minutes. Okay, I was on with him for a long time. And he went through all through, go through this one, go to the other computer and click on it and open up the uh, wireless and do this and do that and blah, 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 blah. And all through this, my computer still said no internet access in the little thing down at the corner there where the clock is. No internet access. Try to, you know, try Internet Explorer. I said, I, I, he says no internet access. Try Mozilla. I, no internet access. So after an hour and 20 minutes, the guy says, I think you need a new modem. Well, needless to say, my my Christian uh, testimony was getting very tried here. And I, I spoke with him, and I spoke a little firmly. I did not use any profanity. And I was not ignorant toward him. I just said, look, they just charged me 15 bucks a month to get help, and you're telling me what I told them the first 20 seconds of my phone call. So anyway... The guy was really nice, and he said, we, we apologize. He says, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, yeah, you need a new modem. I said, okay. He says, I'm going to hook you up with the uh, customer service or the, the, you know, the, the billing department. He says, I'm going to, I'm going to cancel your, your service contract. for them. I said, thank you, I, and I appreciate it. And I apologize to him for being a little, being a little mouthy with him. So it got straightened out. Anyway, uh, I ended up turning my modem off. For like three or four hours, I turn it back on again, and I have internet. I don't know how long I'm going to have internet, but it's probably going to be going out here pretty soon. But anyway, um, I just wanted to say that, first of all, you know, I guess they do what they got to do, right? But uh, I, 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 I was living with the concept of I'm not going to have internet for like two or three days because it said it was going to be like two or three days before I got my modem. And you never really think about that. It's like you get so used to having something that you count on, depend on. Email, uh, I purchase things on the internet, I correspond, Facebook. And I thought to myself, what would life be like if 
you know, we lost our internet for like a month. And I thought about that. I said, you know, we really get used to stuff like internet and TV and telephone, but what would happen if, you know, uh, a great sunspot threw out, you know, billions of tons of uh, solar, you know, particles that will, that can overload electric circuits and, and literally turn things off. What if we didn't have the TV and didn't have the internet and how did they survive 150 years ago when they got up in the morning and they couldn't watch the news and they couldn't get on Facebook and couldn't check their email and couldn't charge their cell phone up and take with them, couldn't put their Bluetooth on. All they had to do was get up, get out, hook the oxen up to the plow and get to work. I don't know. We're so spoiled. Uh, anyway, that's my little vlog for tonight. Listen, if you talk to the guys on Verizon, at least don't use any profanity. I'm proud of myself I didn't use any profanity. And I didn't, I didn't get ignorant with the guy. I just was, uh, my voice was a little forceful. It can be that. They tell me it can be that way sometimes. I don't know. I guess it, I guess it can. Anyhow, listen, I hope you all are saved. If you're not, put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. And uh, he's the only thing we can really depend on. We can't always depend on the internet. We can't always depend on TV and uh, cable and satellite dishes. Those things break down. But Jesus will never let you down. Put your faith and trust in him, and God bless you all. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.